European Union leaders meet to discuss the results of the EU elections over the weekend and work out how they should proceed in nominating the next president of the European Commission. At an informal dinner summit in Brussels, heads of state and government will talk about the outcome of the Europe-wide polls and what can be learned from the way citizens cast their ballots. Early results confirmed that the centre-right European People's Party grouping would retain the most seats in the European Parliament, with the Socialists in second position. The far right and some far left parties made significant gains nationally, but this would not impact greatly on the composition of the European Assembly. While it's probably too early to discuss candidates for the top commission post, the leaders will need to decide on the process leading up to any nomination, as laid out in the Lisbon Treaty. The treaty requires the leaders to take into account the choice of the voters. The nominee, who would have a mandate for five years to lead the EU's executive arm, would have to be endorsed by a majority in the parliament. In a letter inviting the leaders to dinner, the president of the European Council, Herman van Rompuy, urged them to reflect on the challenges ahead as they make their choice. The heads of state and government are also likely to debate developments in Ukraine, which also held pivotal elections over the weekend.